is Friday. You guys know what we're about to do. It's another episode of Fashion Friday, so hopefully you guys are ready to see some really awesome outfits for your characters in GTA Online. As always, if you have your own outfit you want to submit for a future episode of Fashion Friday, then just go on Twitter and tweet it with the hashtag SaintsFF. I just want to say quickly thank you to everyone that has submitted outfits. I know they all don't get featured in these episodes, but there are so many submissions, so thank you all for all of that. Anyway, hopping in to the first one, we have the tuner from Quiet XO, and this one's actually really cool. I like it because of how simple it is, but it's just, it's a nice looking outfit. To make it, put a black tank top on, and I'll talk a little bit about the crew emblem in a second. For the bottom, go with the Warlord pants with white sports shoes, and then for the accessories, go with the brown leather gloves with the vapid backwards cap. Super simple, but it looks really nice. Now, the crew emblem, you'll see in her picture that it's a little bit more car related, so if you wanted to go the extra step, you can definitely put a crew emblem like that on just to, to make it more of a unique character or of a unique outfit. Either way though, the outfit itself looks great and that's why it's the first one. Coming in next, we actually don't have gameplay for this one because it does require a, a glitch to get the pink joggers as you can see. This is from Thesis Badger. To make this one, go with the white painted guffy cap with the mullet white. Then for the torso, go with the white painted guffy t-shirt, pink drop zone joggers, the all white athletic shoes, the black parachute, the rebreather, and white cotton gloves. You can see, I, I love the combination of the white and the pink, and especially with that shirt, just it looks really nice. So if you want a, a totally unique outfit, then that's a great one to choose. Next up, we don't have gameplay for this one because I don't have my freaking Garbage Man outfit anymore because Rockstar keep taking it away from me, but this one is called the Power Sniper. To make it, what you're going to need is obviously the Trash Man outfit with black gloves. For the bottom, go at the black sort of camo-esque pants or cargo pants and black shoes. And then for the head, go at the black bigness, black half mask, the yellow urban sky glasses. And then if you want, he put on the night, vi the night vision and it looks pretty cool. Definitely a little bit different to use that trash man outfit in that way next up we have a really solid one from jory hopefully i said that right this one is the winter combat i don't remember what the name of the shirt was but you can see it's like the dark blue kind of racing or sporty style shirt and then for the bottom we have the urban or the urban cargo pants with the white camo boots then for the accessories the white biker helmet with the gray half mask and the gray gloves i think this one is super nice again like the first one because it's so simple and the colors in the sort of camo stuff actually kind of matches i mean you got the dark gray you got the light gray you got the white you got the dark blue in there i definitely think this is one of the better winter style-esque combat outfits we've done so if you like it there you go moving along we have the feud from trolling taco i absolutely love this outfit because i've never or i haven't seen or haven't done many outfits that use the color green like this and i don't know if i've ever done an outfit that uses a wind shirt so to make this one put the feud wind shirt on with the green jogging shorts with the court high top sneakers and then for the accessories go with the black fingerless gloves the ash mod canvas uh hat and then the ur or the green urban ski glasses with the gray bigness face mask all in all looks pretty good all the colors do match the hat is a little bit lighter but i don't think it's that noticeable and i just like those colors the gray with the green looks great Another one from Trolling Taco, we have the Pagasi. To make this one, use the Pagasi racing jacket with the black low crotch pants, brown work boots, black fingerless gloves, the white mod canvas hat, the yellow urban ski glasses, and the rebreather. Not entirely sure why you'd put a rebreather on this, but I love the outfit because you got black, white, brown, and yellow, which are colors kind of like the green and the gray that you don't really see too often in, in outfits in GTA. So you want to be different those are some really great ones there then we have the import export warlord from sean to make this one go with the green wool camo coat with the black tank top the warlord pants the warlord boots the charcoal broker snapback the white gun glasses and then any gold chain i went with the one with the wheel just because i thought that was more fitting since you're doing import export themed with this outfit this is a great outfit to use when you are import exporting cars. I, I really like the way it looks. The camo just looks really nice with everything else in this outfit. And it does have a similar look to the Warlord outfit that Rockstar actually made themselves for the CEOs. So 
Just a little bit different than that, more of an import-export themed one. Next up, we have the classic army from AJ, and this one you'll see the camo on all of the different items of clothing. None of them really match, but I, I think that actually looks better. It, it, I don't know, it just looks different. So to make it, put the Woodland Camo Open Park Up shirt with the bossed t-shirt underneath it. For the bottom, go with the Camo Low Crotch Shorts and Copper Work Boots. And then for the accessories, the Gold Popcorn Chain with the Jungle Yeti Snapback. Fairly simple, but like I said, all the different camos, I think because they don't match, makes this outfit what it is. And that's why I wanted to show it to you guys. Then we have the Army Tryhard. Haven't done a, a super military style outfit in a while, but this one is one that's a bit different. It's got some different colors. You got the tan, the gray, and the green, which I think sort of blend together nicely. To make it, put the beige stealth jacket on with the forest combat parachute, the super light armor, for the bottom, go with the Warlord pants and brown skate shoes. And then for the accessories, go with the gray fingerless gloves, the khaki scarf, the gray urban goggles, the gray camo mask, and the forest bulletproof helmet. Like I said, it's a good combination of different colors other than just the black and the super dark gray. So if you want military or if you want a new military outfit, there's one. And then moving into the last two, we have one from Eclipse Stars. This one doesn't have a name, but I like it because of the colors like the gold it just looks really nice to start go with the black man or hoodie then go with the black low crotch pants the silver high top sneakers the magnetics script cap which is i believe in the special cap category then go with the black face bandana the grayscale goggles and the black tactical gloves nice combo here between the black and the dark gray to actually do the face stuff it's really simple you just pick that mask that has the hat glasses and the face bandana already and then you can actually just change the hat and the glasses really easily without doing any glitches so that's why i like this one and then the final one we have is a pretty neat one from johnny depp it's called the two-tone and it's a two-tone outfit between black and white so start with the white accent sports coat then go with the angels of death age t-shirt for the bottom the black suit pants with two-tone boots and then for the accessories the gray or black LS fitted cap with the skull face bandana. I've always thought that that black and white suit looked really cool, and here we have an outfit that finally uses it. So those are all the male outfits this week. I'm gonna do some a bit different with the female outfits, just because there were so many of them, I'm not actually gonna commentate through them because that'd probably take too long. So what I'm gonna do is just let you guys see the female outfits this week with some music in the background. So that is it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please drop the video a like. As always, if you do like these outfits and like this series, subscribe so you don't miss these every single Friday. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.